Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Tools. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is uh, Heavy Arms uh, Zero, aka Ford, aka Silver Lightning, in the Gundam Alex in Titans colors. And Gundam Alex is still quite good. It has a very fast charging uh, beam rifle that can also fire, you know, a good few times without overheat, uh, uncharged without overheating. And it has really strong Gatlings in the wrists, and pretty good melee, as I recall. So yeah, Alex is good. Would love to see the uh, uh, would love to see the armored version brought in. And Heavy is here with Salty Walty and Seraphic Zero. And yeah, so far so good. 795 to 50 in the first minute or so. And right now everybody is kind of up on this hill, fighting uh, fighting one another, knocking each other over. It's just kind of a mess, but everybody is here. Caught, uh, caught that camphor, like, just about off camera on a, a side swing. But, yeah, Heavy has no legs, but, again, the Alex has some pretty good mid-range weapons. And since everybody is insisting in fighting uh, for this hill, mid-range weapons are plenty. Yeah, case in point. Yeah, and Heavy didn't downswing because that would have knocked uh, Salty down as well. So, yeah, he's just doing what he can. Somebody got one of the things that uh, he was fighting. So his legs are broken, so any uh, dodge rolls do work, but any boosting means you fall on your face. A couple of quick tags there, but yeah, Heavy's going to get out and repair uh, legs until he can boost safely and then get back in. Which I think is the right move, because, yeah, after a while, just falling on your face every time you boost gets tedious. I don't believe the Alex has forced injectors, so it's, uh, it's, uh, two bars should, uh, hold for a while, though, if Heavy were to jump off this hill, it might end up in a face plant. Let's see, there's that camper again. Got it, uh, stunned with a side swing. Got a couple of good tags in on the downed enemy. Hit the camper, hit the downed enemy, hit everything, basically. Got the kill in on that person. That was a Gym 2 semi-striker, I think, that was, uh, uh, there, or maybe it was one a level of maybe it was a level of the uh, oh I know what it was that was not the javelin like I thought I bet that was the uh, Jim Silver Haze Kai's uh, uh, beam trident which has a uh, which has a, a Japanese name that I'm not remembering but just basically you know it it's a trident but let's see so far 4590 to 4190 that's not a bad place to be. Um, everybody is dead, so they'll be able to coordinate their respawn. That's not bad either. Um, yeah, so, but enemies are in the process of taking point C, which is not going to leave them with any points. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. That also means that, uh, there is literally no choice but for everyone to spawn in the same place and hopefully coordinate a little bit. Which, you know, since the enemies don't have all the uh, spawn points closest to their base, it's not a bad outcome. It's not, it's not terrible. But, let's see, 2572 to that. Yeah, Alex's beam rifle is good, and it's, it's another one of those that, yeah, just looks like, ah, I don't know what it looks like, but it, uh, you know, just looks like weapons from, you know, other things, just like the, uh, Riggsy Customs weapon looks like an AK-47, and the, uh, Sazby's beam shot rifle looks like the pulse rifle from Aliens, so... You know, just just one of those things, you know, a lot of the people who uh, design mobile suits are fans of, you know, firearms and fantasy firearms and kind of sneak stuff in, a as is known to happen. But, let's see. And, yeah, try a couple of low health people there. Uh, heavy stunned one, managed to, uh, and somebody managed to uh, tag it. Somebody got the other one, and Heavy got an assist for that as well managed to uh, take the lead here, which is not bad. Yeah, and the uh, Alex's uh, Vulcans are okay. They're not they're not as good as the Gatlings, obviously, but uh, they do have the advantage on this map of being higher up on the body, so maybe a little bit less likely to uh, hit the sides of the trenches rather than uh, the enemy. So, uh, let's see, 86-80, Heavy's getting some repairs while taking the point. Good call. And, yep, back into the suit and ready for the next, uh, next fight.
which looks like it's starting now. The enemies are fairly well coordinated here. Um, yeah, so that's always difficult. Uh, heavy loss to shield, which means the Alex will now be just that much faster. And let's see, support fire is coming in. And let's see, unfortunately, with uh, with the team kind of clustered here a little bit, it's a little bit uh, dangerous, but it looks like everybody came out of it okay. A couple of people on low health. Number four over here, uh, who's under attack, being one of them. And yeah, Heavy was trying to maneuver around the edges of the of the trench, I think, and that was just, uh, you know, there's collision stuff there. You know, not severe collision stuff in my opinion, but just places where you can you can get caught on the scenery a little bit if you're uh, if you're in a hurry. I do anyway, but of course I do that on the other maps too, the, c the city and all those. Um, right now, it's 9475 to 7795, but basically the whole rest of the team pretty much is dead. And Heavy is fighting two things, a, Jim, uh, a Galbaldi Beta and a Jim Custom Solar Haze. And, yep, good time to be running, but with two things on you and nobody on the uh, map to help, it's, yeah, there's only so much you can do. Missed the uh, one shot trying to fight the Galbaldi, got it on tackle, and somebody's about to move in. Good dodge. See, that person tackled up there. Heavy got stuck on the ledge uh, again, and that was, uh, gave them enough of an opening to kill him. Um, again, gives him the chance to regroup with the rest of his team, though, so maybe not the worst news. We will see, but 95-25 to uh, 9700 with about 80 seconds left. Very, very winnable. Let's see how this goes. Especially if, uh, you know, you're going into that period as... Uh, the team is fairly fresh. Salty's taking uh, some heavy damage here, but everybody else seems to be all right. Um, okay, Zero got uh, taken out by something. I, they must have just uh, swarmed him. See, somebody just activated their special feature, Exam Hades, um, any one of those. But, yeah. Um, except for Exam, just about all of those lower your defense, so... That's, that's, I bet that was the, uh, no, that's right, the Vincent Gleisner is on, uh, uh, is on the, uh, allied side, so I, unless there's another one I didn't notice on the other side, but, let's see, 30 seconds left, and they have got a very small lead, so everybody's healthy, so it's, uh, time to play, play it real close to the chest, and just, yeah, look for your opportunities like that one right there, good kill. And, yep, they are managing to keep just barely ahead. If everybody, you know, salty and heavy work together on that one, that should be fine. Okay, it looks like the uh, Haimozaku was trying to contribute as well. Heavy got the kill, and that is going to be the round. So, very nice. Yep, looks like they carried it. And let's see what we got. We do indeed have a win. And, yeah, Alex looks pretty good in Titan's colors, I have to say. Um, 4660 out of 12,000 points for heavy, 95,000 damage as well. And that's going to be probably, what, 9, 10 kills? Okay, 8, and uh, 800 points of assists. Very nice. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I kind of like to see the Alex get the ability that the new Master Grade has, where there's actually a compartment on the shield that opens for that uh, wrist gatling to work. Um, assuming that the standard Alex couldn't get that and have double gatlings, that'd be a good feature for the armored Alex if they ever include it. But you never know what they're going to add. But I, 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 you know, like I said, now that that feature is, you know, now that there's a design for that, I'd be perfectly happy to see it.